Rasaris Control Panel provides a single point of management for your entire Rasaris system. Simply go to the K menu, type in your password, and you're in. The control center is separated into several major sections global settings, server settings, laptops, and services. Global settings apply to all of the servers in your load balancing array. Since one server is needed for about every 50 thin client computers, large installs could have up to a dozen servers or more. Global settings make sure you only have to make changes in one spot instead of on every server. The Servers tab contains statistics on each of your servers in the load balancing array, such as the number of users, CPU usage, memory, and so on. If I click on a server, I get individual server settings. Individual server settings are very uncommon to use. Most likely the only reason you would need to go in here is to change the server's IP. The laptop tab is for our wireless product, which is not thin client based. Changes made here can be replicated to laptops over the network, but then the laptops can be taken home and used independently from the server. The Services tab contains access to our support chat room and server and licensing information about your servers. As you can see, our control center is quite extensive and straightforward to use. The Thin Client Manager is where all management of computers set up on Rasara is done. If I click on it, it will show me a list of all the computers I have set up as Thin Clients at the office. If I click on one, it will bring me to information and settings for the computer. Here we see the IP address, MAC address, and other information. The Info tab contains special information about the computer. The Actions tab allows me to perform certain actions like turning the computer off or getting special hardware information. The Session tab lets me set the session type, whether the computer should auto-login, and default volume settings. If I click on the session type, I can configure my computer to be a Windows Thin Client by pointing it at my Windows Terminal Server. The Video tab allows me to set special video settings for a Thin Client, such as the video driver, resolution, color depth, and more. It also supports configuration of dual monitors. The Printers tab enables me to set a default printer for a particular computer. I can also restrict printer access, which is useful to prevent students from printing to printers outside of their classroom. The Kernel tab is for, for adding special drivers for special hardware, but this is practically never used. I can also set these settings at the group level, so if I click on the default group, I can click on Actions and turn off all the workstations in a classroom or all the workstations in the entire building. Or, if I click on Printers, I can set a default printer for the entire classroom at once. The DHCP Segments tab is for configuring the DHCP server. If I double click on the default segment, I see the start and end of the DHCP IP range. The Network tab contains the rest of the network settings for the thin clients. Rosaro's DHCP server can be set up to provide DHCP for any number of IP ranges on multiple network interfaces. It's also important to note that by default, our DHCP server will only respond to computers that are booting off their network cards, so it will not interfere with your existing DHCP server that is serving Windows PCs. The Interfaces tab allows you to choose which network cards to listen for DHCP requests on. This is useful if you have multiple network cards configured or VLANs. The Load Balancing tab 
contains a list of all the Rosara servers in your load balancing array and allows you to enable and disable them as well as set user quotas.